Hello everyone. So um, today I'm gonna be making a series on this game called Lumia Legacy, which I made a video earlier. So um, I, this is a, gonna be a beginner's guide for this game. So like I'll explain every single thing that happens in this game part by part, so that you can understand it and play it easily. Because most of the people who play it seem to get confused. So let's get into it. Now you click on that new game button there. So if you click that new game button, your adventure or your game just starts. So now let us load in and there's gonna be a little cutscene here. You can watch it if you want but I suggest watching it. If you don't have time you can just spam and skip through it. So let the cutscene play out. So here there's your father and his lab assistant I guess and suddenly there's rain in their like laboratory, I mean no, in their dig site. So there there's the rock they've been studying and something weird happens on the rock. So like the letters start changing and now there's a completely different like sentence. So. And then, if you continue on with the cutscene, here there's the news about the storm. And after this news comes the player. So the TV switches off, and here you are. So now, what you have to do is you should move towards the stairs at the top corner so um, you can look at the room but it's not much of use so move towards the stairs so your mom calls you downstairs so just walk towards the stairs again and you should go down now walk down the stairs and your mom is gonna talk to you a bit so the important thing is your father calls you to the dig site and she gives you your new Lumi watch update or something like that. So your Lumi watch is really important. Okay, it helps you do most of your things. And here you name yourself. I'm gonna name myself Guide. So you don't need to name yourself the same thing. You can name yourself whatever you want unless it gets hashtagged. So, um, now this is the ID. Here, it shows your Lumi coins and your ID name, number. So now, we got to go to our father at the dig site. You can read the cutscene and understand it, but I'll try helping anyway. So, to go out of the house, go right there. Just run into it and you should be out of the house. Now it's raining and we can't really see properly. So just follow where I go to find the dig site. Just walk down this path. Shift to run by the way. And now when you're at this edge, take right and go here and climb up this short hill and it should seem it is dig site. So now that you reached towards this area, run straight into it and a cutscene should play. So there's our father and his assistant, we run towards them and the cutscene will play. So uh, I suggest watching the cutscene because most of the cutscenes are important. I'll tell when you can skip some cutscenes. So here our father explains what's happening and something happens. Let the cutscene play and explain as it happens. So the ground starts trembling and then the rock starts doing weird things and the letters disappear and the rock gets completely broken and all the pieces spread across the world. So the assistant is just freaked out and you know, all confused. So you can read all the 
cutscene where I can't really explain all of it. So yeah, now as the cutscene ends, you will be asked to meet the father and the mother at the laboratory. So the laboratory is not that hard to find, it's really easy. So just head back out of the dick side like you just came in towards this side. And there you see you go straight from here. So now we're back at this point. You go towards this side and take a right and go straight again. Now you will see the Lumion Laboratory of Rolia. So here you're gonna be getting your beginner Lumion, which will be there with you all along your journey. So let's enter in the building and see what happens. That's the door, you run into it and you'll go in. So the main objective is to meet dad and mom at Roria, so we're gonna go in there. So here, there's gonna be a quite a long cutscene. You might skip through it, I don't know, but if you have time, you can read it, but if you don't, you can just skip through it because um, it's a lot, okay? so. Here what happens is basically your father explains what happens, he just tells what the original text meant and all that. And now they're asking if we can track it somehow. But to track it somebody should go. So they're planning on sending us to track it. So here they get the idea and now Yes. Now they talk a lot. Okay. After that, they come to a conclusion to send us to go and find the stone and the stones. You can call them stones to find them. So um, we we we're gonna help them out, and that's like one of the main objectives in the story. So now for doing that, we need our beginner Lumion. So for the beginner Lumion. Our mom will take us to the beginner Lumion and she'll make us select it. And then we'll battle her just to understand the battle me metal mechanics. So now she just tells you some things. And here all the Lumions just come towards you. But only six of them come. The seventh one, it, it sleeps a lot in the day. So it's inside sleeping. It's nothing completely, nothing is different from the other Lumions. It's completely the same, except for the Typhoons, of course. So this is Feewine's, um, let's say, uh, personality. So that's Wambat, the dark type Lumion. That's its personality. You can read it. You can decide whichever one you want. There's Weevil, the electric type. And there's Dripple, the water type, that's its personality. That's Eaglet, the light type. And the next one is Embit, the fire type. So these are all the personalities. And here's Snow Crop, the ice type. So now I can choose whichever one I want. But I'm gonna choose Snow Crop because um, it's easier to do the first part of the game with Snow Crop. And I really want to get through the series faster. You can choose anyone you want, but um, I suggest choosing Embits or Cub or any of those like that. So here you can nickname your Snow Cub or any Lumion. I'm gonna nickname my Snow Cub Snow. So you click Yes, and it's nicknamed Snow from now. So here our mom explains us a few things, and then we head into the battle where we understand the battle mechanics. Don't worry, it's not that hard. It's really easy and it, it, I'm telling you, it's not gonna be hard to understand, right? So, this is the battle animation, so, mom sends out a Kabunga. It's a new, it's a different Lumi, it's not a beginner Lumi. So here, you can see the level five at each of our Lumians and the green bar over there is the health bar. 
So when it reaches zero, we can't do. We faint. And the energy, the pink bar is the energy we have. So here we have fight items run domains. So fight is for us to use our moves. Lumions is for us to swap. Run is to run away from wild lumions. Items is for using any items on our lumion. So now I'm gonna click on fight. Here there's three moves. One is empty because I don't have another move. So brace is has something called EC and it's 15. Every move EC means energy cost. So that much energy is taken away from your energy bar. It's not that complicated, it's easy enough. So here there's a green arrow over there. This arrow means that it's super effective on the opponent loom. So it's most likely the best move to use. So here there are typings of the move like typeless and ice. And there's weight and rest. Weight is when you wanna regain energy and rest is you regain more energy but your defense lowers so i'm gonna just um, go through the cutscene now and we can start doing the battle and if we run out of energy and we still use a move we flail and we hit ourselves and attack the opponent so now this is the battle you just click on the super effective move most of the times. So I'm gonna just use flurry here. The opponent coming I use brace and it's melee defense rolls. Don't worry about all that. It's none of your business. So I'll explain about it later in any PvP or stat video. So now it almost got one hit KO'd. So if we hit it again, it's gonna get knocked out. So, it's on red health, which is pretty low. I'm gonna go to fight and click on flurry again. Kabunga is strike, which means it deals damage to us. So that means we lost 2 HP, nothing to worry because it's really less. So now we fainted the Kabunga. So our mom takes back the Kabunga and we gain experience. Experience is when you like do battles and level up so we level to level 6 and we earn some money so now our father tells us that our gear is set up and we can locate the I mean we can call each other using a Lumi watch and etc etc you can I suggest reading, reading this last part of the cutscene so yeah so Cheshma Town is really close, not to worry, it's not confusing or anything. So um, yeah, I'll just finish this cutscene and I'll tell you where to go. So mom gives you a closet key. A closet key is used to go to the closet at the back of the lab. It's not that hard to find actually, so I'll show you where it is as soon as the cutscene ends. So now that the cutscene has ended, we go to the closet. So the closet is near the area where we pick our lumens. So now that we enter the area, you go up and you see this little door. So you go into it and this is the closet. So there's two chests there. So you run up to one chest and click on it. And then you get some items. So here this chest gave me 5 small meds. Small meds are used to heal your lumens when they are low in HP. Now here I got 5 capture discs. Capture discs are used to capture wild lumens after they are weakened. So we will head out of the building. Now that's where you head out of the building. So now that we're out of the building, our main objective says to search for the chunk of the tablet in Gale Forest. Gale Forest is in Chesma Town. Nothing confusing. 
it's really easy it's so let's continue on with that journey now we have snow cub following us which is nice and cool but follow the path where i am going to continue on to chestnut town now we're in mistress town and now we go near that bridge over there so now that we're we're about to cross the bridge our mother calls us on a lumi watch she is like testing the lumi watch or something and she tells us to use the project key and she tells us what to do with the small meds and capture discs so you can skip through the cutscene if you understood it or something and then i'll tell you where to go so now that the cutscene is done we can go over here and there's some patch of grass grass so if we run into this grass there's a chance we encounter a lumion so there we just encountered a lumion and it's a cathon completely new lumion do not need to worry so it's a level 4 cathon so if i want to capture this cathon i need to weaken it so let's try using flurry to weaken it so after i weaken it i should throw a capture disc Now that I use flurry, let's see how much damage it does. Oh no! I knocked out the cat on. Not to worry, you can encounter more of any lumion in a certain grass patch. So now, if I just walk around in the grass patch, I encountered a twilight. Twilight is not such a good lumion, and it's not really um. red lumion so i'm going to run away from it so now let's just continue on with our journey and catch any lumion later which we encounter let's try and count in well here we encounter a twitel twitel is like the rarer one in this route so i'm going to try and capture this twitel so here i used flurry last time and the cat on died so i'm going to use strike I mean the cat on did die but it fainted i said die by mistake so sorry if i say that it's just a flip of my tongue so let me do strike again because it didn't really do much damage so now that twitel is at red hp we can it will be easier to capture so now we go to the item tab and in the capture disk click on capture disk and here you click on use so now we throw the capture disk and we are most likely going to capture the twitel 1 2 3 and the stars if the stars come that means you captured it if not the twitel will break through the disc so now i don't want to reclaim my twitel so i click on no now that i've caught my lumion i can continue going that is where we need to go it's um It's like a teleportation device, not a device, but an area. So it takes you from one route or town or city to another. So here, there's a trainer, a person who is willing to battle us. Not to worry, it's really, really easy to defeat um, trainer battles, most of them at least. So here, he has a twilight level three. It's not that hard to defeat. So I'm gonna use flurry, my strongest move apparently. So um you can watch my you can watch me battle but it's quite easy to understand. Well, if you look at that, the twilight got a freeze. Freeze is a status status element. A status element is when something happens to the lumion lumion status, like paralyze, freeze, burn, etc. So freeze it reduces the energy each each turn. So now that we've le- knocked it out, we level up, and the opponent is sending a cat on. Now here it gives us an option to switch. 
If we click on yes, we can switch into our other Lumion. But Twitter is really low on HP, so let's click outside the Lumion. Now we're not gonna switch and the cathode comes in. Now we're gonna use flurry because it's super effective. So now that I've knocked out the cathode, the battle should be done. There. Now you can just stop, just click and the battle will be done. Oh also, don't mind that thing at the bottom corner. I'll explain about it in the later future. So now let's continue walking. Well, we encountered a Lumion. It's another Twilight. I don't really want to capture a Twilight, so I'm gonna run away from it. Here, there's another person who's willing to battle us. So don't worry, it's another easy battle. He has only one pilot. Yep, there's the pilot. Now we can just use flurry and two shot him, I guess. The pilot used Donald, my mini defense fell. You don't really need to worry about all that as I said earlier. So now that the battle's over, we can just uh, take our money and go straight again. Now there's another person here, so don't worry, it's the last person you're going to ba be battling until we go to Chesmatown. So now Shana would like to battle, she has a twiddle. Twiddle, Flurry is super effective on twiddle, so not to worry, we're gonna knock it out easy. Now that red pills down, we gain some experience and we level up to level 8. Shana would like to send Kath on. I don't wanna switch, so I click no. Now I'm gonna again, if you see there, there's two Lumion discs. The one which is highlighted means that's the number of lumens that are not knocked out. So the ones which are completely blank-ish, that is the lumen which is knocked out. <clears throat> so, now that the battle's over, there's Cheshmaton. So if we run into this, we will go to Chesmaton, but we see there, there's a chest. I would like to go get the chest before I leave Ch leave to Chesmaton. So to go there, I'll have to go all the way there. Now I'm gonna walk all the way from here to there. And I encountered an another twiddle, but well, I have a twiddle. So how do I know that? There's a little disc under the name of the twiddle. So if there's a disc, that means you already have that Lumion. So I'm gonna run away from it because I don't want another Twitly. So here is my chest, I click on it. And there's a couple of capture discs. So now we have around six, I think. Let's walk all the way back. And there's chest down. So, uh, I'm gonna show you a few things before that. Here's Lumions. So, if you click on that, you go to your Lumion, and they are both your Lumion. And this shows your stats. And now you go to Mastery. Here, you don't need to worry about it right now. Navigate, same thing. There's locations, hubs, and the weather, which all I'll talk about soon. And then there's items. Here, it's, this is a bit important. So there's the items part, medicine part, where there's your spawnments, discs, 
with as your discs mm's no need to worry fruits no need to worry key items there are stuff like closet key etc and the id this shows your lumipedia and which is how many lumis you captured or or seen and your money which is lumi coin and then there's the lumi boosts no need to worry about that anymore i mean right now and this is the settings where you can reduce your graphics or something and you can change your follow privacy and you can change your objective like if it's visible or not and the stuck get unstuck button it's important because if you're sometimes stuck which sometimes you do get stuck in the game you just go to the settings and click on get unstuck so right so that's going to be it for this episode um we're going to go to chessman town in the next episode okay don't miss that so yeah like subscribe share etc and and see you guys in episode 2 i guess so um yeah bye